Welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of the project is Identification of Apple Leaf Diseases Based on Deep Convolutional Neural Network. And the abstract of the project is Leaf diseases are not only influence the economic importance of the fruit and its product, but also abate their ecological prominence. Apple fruit, especially the fruits and the leaves, are highly affected by the fungal disease named as anthrocnus. The main aim of this process is to develop an appropriate and effective method for diagnosis of the disease, exposing a suitable system for an yearly and cost-effective solution of this problem. Over the last few years, due to the higher performance capability in terms of computation and accuracy, computer vision and deep learning methodological have gained popularity in assorted fungal disease classification. Apple is widely cultivated as kind of leaf. In the whole growth cycles of apple, there are many types of apple leaf diseases and pets. Therefore, the detection and diagnosis of this disease are very necessary. The deep learning algorithm by convolutional neural network algorithm are used to predict the disease from the apple leaf. In this process, deep learning is used to reduce the size of the training data, the time and the computational cost when building deep learning. The data set contains both healthy and infected apple leaf images. Result envisage the higher classification accuracy of the proposed CNN model. The result will be generated in the form of accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score. And the flow diagram of the project is first we need to start the program and select the apple leaf pieces, the image data set and then we use the sample data set in the console working directory. Then it will move into data pre-processing. In data pre-processing we are going to Check the minimum height and maximum height and minimum width and maximum width for every classes from the apple leaf disease data set. After that we need to visualize the sample images from all the directory. Then it will move into feature selection. Before that in pre-passing we are going to resize all the images and convert the images into array. After that in feature selection we need to select the independent variable and dependent variable. After selecting independent and dependent variable we are going to split the data set into training data set and testing data set. Then it will pass it into classification. In classification, we are using convolution neural network deep learning algorithm to classify all the RP leaf images and predict the image, predict the type of disease. Then it will finally generate the result in the form of matrices like accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. The program was successfully executed in Anagoda Navigator Spider ID, and this is the sample image visualization of our RP leaf disease images. And after that, I have to check the minimum height and minimum width maximum height and maximum width for every classes in our, from our data set images. So after that I have to set and this is the binary segmented result and this is the k-means cluster segmentation result. After that I have to label our classes into 0 to 3 because I have 4 different types of diseased classes. And after that, this is the k-means cluster cluster segmentation result and this is the mask of the k-means cluster segmentation. This is the sample images from our input data and this is the independent variable train data, independent variable test data and this is dependent variable train data and this is dependent variable test data. After that I have to apply our input to our convolution neural network algorithm and these are all the summary result of convolution neural network algorithm. And the convolution neural network algorithm extract the overall parameter, trainable parameter is 9,26,788. So these are all the parameters of the trainable form. So our input images will train based on the parameter in for the 25 different training epoch and will, it will generate the result is 99.96 percentage. And this is the this is the performance graph of convolutional neural network algorithm and this is the classification report for convolutional neural network algorithm. In that it will generate the precision recall and f score results and precision means number of correct prediction, recalls means number of correct instance of prediction and f score means to measure the test accuracy and this is the confusion matrix. The confusion matrix which is going to explain the number of correct prediction and number of misclassification from the every classes in our data is based on the convolutional neural network algorithm. Finally, the user can manually choose some images from our data set directory and our algorithm going to predict the exact classes for the input images and this is the variable result that we are using in our program.